Hey you guys, it's that time. Pick a card, pick a story. So within one of these decks, uh, there should be a story in here for you. So I want you to look at each deck. I'm going to hold them up and if it resonates with you, um, hopefully your story is in here. So is it deck number one? See if your energies are resonating here. Is it deck number two? Are your messages in this deck? Or is it deck number three? You feel any energy from there? All right, so let's go ahead and begin with deck number one. We have the sun, the three of swords, the tower, ooh, the ace of pinnacles, the ten of wands, ten of coins, nice, queen of cups, And the uh oh, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so, um, well, it looks like your finances are looking good. Um, many of you may be receiving some sort of inheritance or um, receiving some sort of gains um, within the next eight, seven or eight days here. Um, also, some of you may be gaining some sort of new status, uh, maybe a new status in relationship. Um, feels like something, It maybe it took a long time or you're going to be able to hold on to this money for a long time. Like you might take some and store it away. Now, I'm also seeing something being handed down to you like um, literal either like family heirlooms or or something valuable that has been in a family for a long time. Um, I'm seeing something in regards to photo albums, like you're flipping through photo albums and these are like priceless to you. Uh, also, any of you that might have something in storage, I'm feeling like maybe mice or rodents are getting into your things. Um, so yeah, some of you that have some things in storage, I feel like I feel like uh, there is a rodent or something rumbling through it, and hopefully is. I would rather it be a rodent than someone at the facility digging through your stuff. Um, that should be illegal. Um, but yeah, I am seeing that for some of you here. I'm also getting the name Irma. I don't know who that was, uh, but I feel like for some of you that may be a connection um, especially just to maybe confirm something with you. And I'm also getting something like, you guys have to forgive me, I'm getting like little random tidbits, um, but something like about Reese cups, like maybe someone who always uh, is craving Reese cups or someone always craved Reese cups while they were pregnant. Uh, I also feel like someone is possibly bringing a bundle of joy into the family. Um, so either you could be expecting or there's a new uh, fam some, someone in your family uh, is having a baby or maybe even like your best friend, someone very close to you whose friendship you value. Um, and if this isn't like a, a pregnancy, then it just could be like 
having a family or guest at your home. So something in regards to like extended family. There's, mm, no, I don't want to say that. I'm not going to say that. Try your luck if you want to, but uh, because I'm, I'm seeing a possible win or a possible loss uh, in regards to uh, casino. If you want to play the lottery, please. <laughs> if you are already going to play, there's a possibility that you might win, but you're, you're risking it because I also, I see, um, I see a damage or separation, which might be some sort of loss, but I also see a game coming in after a loss. So I don't know. Maybe if you like play two games, a dollar here, a dollar there, you win one and lose one. Maybe you just break even. I don't know. Um, now, also for some of you, you could be dealing with, um, I'm sorry, water, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, um, maybe a Libra. I feel too like the truth is coming out about a matter. Someone maybe too has just taken up a career that has to do with like science or you might be getting involved with someone who is a science teacher um, or someone who is uh, philosophical or even like an astrologer uh, or you yourself may be an astrologer. I'm also seeing something in regards to someone's home being broken up hmm. because of someone new or maybe someone feels like you broke up their home. I mean, it could be a situation where like, you know, the father remarried and, you know, the kids are like, we miss our mom or, you know, the, or it's happening with you. The, the kids are like, that ain't my daddy. You know, just, I don't know, something where someone feels like someone broke up their home. Uh, but it was something that was already going on for a long time. Um... There are things that are coming to an end. Someone has been um, carrying the weight. Someone has been feeling like they've been carrying the weight all on their on the on their own. So either uh, at a job, like everyone makes you do everything, uh, or you have a job that just requires a lot of of work. It's a lot of pressure um, or you're in a relationship where you feel like you're carrying the weight of the relationship all on your own, especially too, if you're a guy watching this and, you know, your girlfriend or wife is pregnant. Um, she's just basically having you run like a lot of errands. Um, you know, she's just kind of keeping you busy. She wants this. She wants that. Um, I'm also feeling like someone is coming off as a diva. So if there is something in regards to planning a wedding or maybe you're a part of your friend's wedding, your friend is, is acting like a diva. But I feel like someone is also possibly um, destroying a friendship because of their behavior. I'm also seeing something in regards of costly repairs to a home, uh, some sort of damages, especially too if you are like a property manager, um, whether it's commercial or what do you call it, residential property. I'm seeing something in regards to damage or maybe you live in an apartment and you have to report some sort of damages that could be costly. I keep also kind of getting something in regards to like breaking a safe, breaking it, like breaking a safe. So it's like if you have like a little safe 
in your home. I don't know. I just kind of feel like someone's picking a lock or breaking into it. I, I feel like something is like breaking an entry here. Um, even if it's just a diary or your phone, the like your phone, you have all these valuable things in your phone, private, personal information, um, and someone kind of breaks into it and sees your information. Or if you, you know, go into some, if you don't trust your spouse and you go into their phone and you see something that's like, oh my God, you know, everything is coming out. Everything is coming out into the open. Also, something may be coming off like a confession because someone can't hold on to uh, a secret anymore or they can't hold on any longer. They they have to say something. Um, let me look at the tower. There also may be some sort of significant change um, soon as we move into Pisces um, or at the end of the month. Yeah, that would still be Pisces season. So something might happen more so at the end of the month rather than a week from now. This could extend out further. Hmm, so somebody, uh, if you're in a relationship, if you're in a relationship, it looks as if uh, the relationship may be falling apart because I'm, it does like kind of confirm like a breakup now because of something that comes out into the open. Um... And someone might blame you for breaking up the family or you're blaming someone for breaking up the family. There's a possible situation where even if it can go either way, like especially if you were the other man or the other woman, it's like maybe the the partner or spouse didn't know about you and then it comes out into the open and it causes that relationship to break up and then you you know people are like you home wrecker or whatever um so and maybe you did or maybe you didn't know maybe you didn't know that you were involved in something like that um but yeah we i am getting like a confirmation of a breakup someone's um regretting but it's out in the open now you know so you know someone felt bad about whatever happened and I I feel like a couple of things with strength um whatever happens if something is happening to you like if you're going through a breakup I feel like there's a need for you to just be strong you'll get through it or you have the strength to get through it don't start thinking suicidal thoughts and all of that you're you'll be fine you know it's just a moment um, it's a might be a bad moment, but you can get through this. Um, I'm also seeing strength as someone was unable to remain loyal. Someone they was trying they were trying to hold back, but they couldn't anymore. It was too much. So they that secret got out. Some some maybe someone slipped up. Maybe they just voluntarily said, "Hey, this is the way I feel." It also could be a situation where you know, um, it's just about somebody expressing their feelings for you. Maybe it's very unexpected, uh, but for some reason it could be some sort of betrayal. So um, you know, one of those situations where uh, you fell in love with your uh, friend's ex and maybe you guys have been going out together and um, your, your, your friend didn't know, but then it got out and it's just like, are you serious? You've been messing with my ex or you're in love with my ex? You know, so something like that. I kind of get that type of vibe from this too. Or a situation where you're 
messing with another family member because a lot of times too for me the ten of pentacles is talking about family so and especially if it's like somebody who was supposed to be your in-law um or if this is like um someone who you call a cousin or if it's like you know how it's step step parents but you're not blood related to the other side of the family so it could be like something you know scandalous like that um, but I'm seeing because of some truth coming out, it, it kind of, uh, you know, severs things. Um, it, it, you know, it's some sort of severing of ties. And, you know, everyone, everything is different from there. Everything is different from, from that point on. You know, there's a need for you to um, kind of, you just see things from a different way. You're like, you don't look at family the same way no more. You don't look at your ex the same way no more. Um, so yeah, I do feel like there is going to be, like there's a need to rebuild whatever fell apart. Now also this can be the destruction of a job too. Yeah, some of you it is romantic because of, you know, the lovers coming up here. Also, like someone who maybe was just supposed to be a friend. I see that too. Like, uh, you guys were just supposed to be friends and ended up sleeping together. And it's just like, whoa, what? <laughs> Where did that come from? Or you realize that you're in love with your friend, but your friend has moved on to somebody else. Um, especially if there was some sort of rejection in the past. Um, oh, I'm not finished. I want to clarify a couple more things. Um, but yeah. Oh, my little thing fell down. Hold on. I have to keep this uh, tapestry pinned up so that it stays neat. I got it like stuck in my desk. Here. Like, what do you call it? Push pins. I got it. <laughs> it's ghetto, y'all. <laughs> but um yeah what else was I getting ready to say uh it'll come back let me clarify uh let me look at this into this uh three of swords um I do see someone who's willing to rebuild though oh, I was getting ready to say um for job related um like if you lose your job it's another one right around the corner you know, you just have to put in your applications and go through that whole thing with job interviews and, um, you know, all of that. But, you know, at least it's another opportunity around the corner. Uh, or if it's not being fired, you, you already quit and you starting like real soon. And, you know, this job, it might be stressful, but it's going to be paying more. Yeah, so it, it could be some sort of, it could be something in regards to a co-worker too, something going down with a co-worker. I'm definitely seeing something at the play, at, at your place of work. Um, even if you work from home, I'm seeing like a situation where you're getting involved with a, a situation that is just kind of messy. For the most part, I just kind of feel that this is about someone who was trying to be loyal or respectful to someone else's wishes or try to protect someone's um, image or reputation like it gets shattered. Yeah, someone, I, I just feel like someone couldn't hold that secret anymore. They were under too much pre pressure.
And I also just want to briefly look at this Ten of Wands. So for some of you, this is maybe like a relocation, like you had to, but it's, it's like it was unexpected. Something happened out of the blue. If you weren't the one having to relocate, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody needed a place to stay. Like you had to take in a friend or family members. Um, but it looks like something happens, it wasn't expected and you're getting ready to have a full house. Um, you might even be the one to offer it. Like, hey, you know, you can stay here. I don't know if you're upset about it, but I just kind of feel like somebody was separated from their home um, and maybe they're needing a place to stay. They might be coming from out of state. Um, and I just kind of feel like somebody is trying to bring all their things with them or at least all the things that are most valuable to them. Yeah, you're about to get a full house. You're going to be happy about this, though. I don't know if you were lonely or if you felt like you needed company. Uh, I know that this isn't for everybody, but I, I do feel like whatever this destruction is, um eventually you're finding some sort of happiness out of it. Even if it's somebody else's relationship that broke up it's, and, and you were wanting to be with them, it's just like, oh, good, my turn. My, I get a chance now. So whatever this is, this crumbling, I feel like you're benefiting, benefiting from it. I also see, too, if you are... Um, I want to scavenger the right. I don't want to make it seem like a scavenger, but if you are some sort of scavenger, uh, treasure hunter, like or you, what is that show? Well, people they go to the like you go to the thrift store and you you kind of like look through things or you go to rummage sales and it's like I feel like you might luck up on something very valuable, especially if you have like a good eye for something or if you you know you just think you're kind of shopping around and something unusual catches your eye a painting a piece of jewelry a picture i feel like it could be something more valuable than you realized uh someone stored something away um from centuries ago um maybe not that long ago but they decades uh <laughs> it was stored away and um now you are lucking up on it and I feel like you're going to ca be able to cash in on something that used to belong to someone else. Um, I also feel like this is saying um, if you're doing some sort of renovation to your home, like somewhere in the walls or in the floors, you're going to find something valuable uh, that you can choose to keep give back to the fine track down the owners or cash it in for yourself. It's up to you. Um, personally, if it's my home now, no, it depends on what it is. <laughs> but um, yeah, it, it. I feel like that is going to be the case for some of you. Now, don't go banging up, cutting walls in your uh, holes in your wall and, and cutting cutting out square <laughs> squares in your floor. Don't go doing that. I'm just saying if you were already doing some sort of home renovation, you might stumble upon something very uh, valuable. Hold on to it and examine it because um, uh, you might have something worthwhile. Hmm. You know, too, this is just so weird and random. I just kind of feel that if you do find something, something in regards to slave owners, or you, you have something that used to belong to slave owners, 
or your relatives they were slaves i don't know it's like you have something of of theirs someone who who was held captive here um i also feel that if you are a spell if you're um a spell caster like there's oh okay i feel like if you're a spell caster somebody could be doing some sort of work to cause a breakup so you might be the one doing it um be trying to break someone up from a toxic situation or you could be cleansing um cleansing yourself or trying to clear any type of uh negative energy that was on you um or if you felt like your relationship was in danger i feel like whatever that energy was is being removed and things are going to go back to normal because someone could have tried to break up your union all right so that is all that i have for deck number one let's go ahead and move on to deck number two who's deck number two this one Yep, almost forgot. All right, the Empress, the Page of Coins, Death, the Hanged Man, Seven of Cups. Then we have Five of Cups, Ten of Swords, ooh, Four of Cups, uh-oh, and then I just saw him again, somebody doing some work. I guess that is some sort of energy going out there, maybe people are preparing for that Mercury retrograde, I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, so... I almost want to say something went from bad to worse. If if someone has been trying to break up with you or and they said leave me alone or give me my space, if you keep pressuring them, I feel like it's just making it worse. Um, please leave that person alone. Um, let them be, let them mope, let them move on. Like even though you are hurt and feeling rejected, and feeling like that was your soulmate, please leave them alone because I feel like somebody is making something worse. Like at first, maybe they just wanted space, but the more you push, the more they're like, you know what, just forget the whole thing. Um, but I'm definitely seeing endings here. Um, someone has really been feeling disconnected. There has been lack of communication. Uh, someone has been kind of moping around, feeling bad, maybe stuck in the past and focused too much on what used to be in, as, as opposed to what could be or what is in your future. Um, yeah, some of you could be stuck on something that has ended and that is not, not going anywhere. Um, I don't know if you were hoping for... Um, what do you call it? A reconciliation? Or if you just had a crush and you wanted to hear from your crush, if you were waiting on a job offer, they're not calling you. They're not interested. Stop calling them. Um, it, matter of fact, if it's about a job offer, I see, and you are one of the people that have been thinking about being an entrepreneur, or you already kind of do that on the side, it's time for you to just do it full blast now. Um, start making money, start building that income, start focusing on that gift that you have. Uh, figure out a way, just try to start making money any way possible with that talent that you have and move towards that until if you still want want to try and find a job try and find something else but uh it's i feel like it's time for you to work independently for now now relationship wise i'm seeing things like there are there's been some uh, affairs or some some sort of hidden affair somebody's been having hanging on to a secret fantasy or desire uh, some there's definitely some sort of temptation going on. 
Um, someone may be seduced from the other person. I'm not feeling like now is a good time for fertility. Somebody may be really desiring a, a child and really wanting a child and you're having a hard time conceiving or you think you are, you just know you are, but what it actually is is, um, and I'm saying like after you found out the results that you weren't. Uh, what could it or maybe you did get results that you were but then like it's more so like a false positive uh, It's I, I don't want to say phantom pregnancy, but it's something that's called a chemical pregnancy where the Sperm and egg fertilize, but it doesn't it's unable to nestle inside the uterus so You still get like some of the symptoms from pregnancy so uh, especially if you've been dreaming that you were dreaming about fish. So I'm feeling like for some of you, it was like a chemical pregnancy. And, um, you know, it, it just, it didn't take. Um, especially if you were wondering like, well, what happened? Or, you know, um, feeling like, or if you just keep having miscarriages, um, yeah, it, it, you might just need to get your health checked out. Um, I feel like there is some sort of emotional things that you're going through. Now, also what I'm getting here, I am seeing a sad spirit around you and they're drawn to you because you remind them of their mom or something. Um, there is a child energy or spirit around you that's been trying to get your attention. You've been blowing them off. Uh, you haven't been listening. Um, even though intuitively you've been seeing things at the corner of your eye, um, you've been hearing things, uh, you keep waking up in the middle of the night and you're like, how, why am I waking up in the middle of my, of the night? I'm feeling like it's because you don't even recognize that you're either hearing voices or hearing sounds or something. Um, some of you could be grieving over to like a loved one that has already crossed over. Um, those of you that are new to my channel, I always stress the death card is I, I don't predict death. I don't predict death. Um, but when it shows up for me, this is talking about something that has already ended. If it's talking about, you know, like a, a physical death, this is something that has already happened. Um, or at least is someone that it, it doesn't come at a surprise. So let's just say for instance, you know, your aunt is sick, you know, she's been in a hospital for months, she's not responding. Somebody's been moved to a hospice. I mean, something like that. It's, it's like, well, you already know that's coming. So you're already prepared for that. Uh, but otherwise, I'm not predicting like, oh, you're about to die. Or your loved one, uh, your crush, your, the love of your life, you know, they're about. I don't do that. You know, so when I'm talking about death, it's, it's more so of something that has already happened. Uh, now, those of you that like to tell me the interpretation of each and every card, it's a little insulting, but um, I know death can be transition. I know that. Uh, it just depends on what I'm feeling I need to say at the moment. Um, speaking of, I, I do see transition spiritually because I see some sort of spiritual awakening here. So for some of you, you are laying your old self to rest. Um, the way you, you used to think um, the direction, the path that you were on, you know, everything you thought you knew was right, that's gone bye-bye. You know, you you took that red or blue, no, you took the, what it, it's the red pill. You took the red pill and now you went down that rabbit hole and you can't get out. You're stuck in that rabbit hole. So a lot of you have been falling, falling, falling deep into uh, spiritual things. You're learning about conspiracies. You're learning about um, 
um, uh, witchcraft, which might also be why I feel like a lot of witchcraft uh, is showing up. It might not be that you're practicing, but maybe researching about it. Um, you might be looking at your ancestors or you might be honoring your ancestors. Um, but I'm getting like a lot of things in regards to, um, I feel like, I feel like there's this death, like you were like maybe young and immature or your way of thinking was, um, and now you're in this cocoon, uh, after this transition, you're in a cocoon and right now you are just kind of resting and, um, you're seeing things from a different perspective because and you're getting prepared to come out as that butterfly um i'm seeing too like there's a lot of lucid dreaming going on um you're seeing all sorts of things all sorts of crazy things um some of you if you don't dream in color you're dreaming in color some people dream in black and white now that's weird to me but I guess because I dream in color, but some people they dream in black and white. But now it's like you're dreaming in in vivid colors. Now uh, you're having like HD <laughs> HD dreams, um, and I feel like even for some of you, it's advancing more than that. Now you're not just dreaming; you're having like experiences, and you're going on journeys and visiting places and revealing uh, things are being revealed to you. I love those type of experiences and I feel like this is what is happening like things are being uh, revealed to you now I also feel like something is getting ready to manifest here um I mean it could be a new you a new way of thinking that new career it could also be a new relationship if it's a new relationship it starts off in secret but I feel like it's because somebody just broke up or and maybe they don't want somebody to know that they moved on or maybe their ex isn't quite over them and they're just like, uh, you know, let's just kind of keep this on a low for, for now. Um, so I'm seeing like definitely like, you know, you got a lot of endings and transitions. It could be an emotional week for some of you um, because you're, you're coming back a new person. Um, also... I mean, I really could go on and on about these possible changes here. Definitely spiritual awakening for some of you. Some of you it could be the dark night of the soul or like you're still, it's, it's like it's never ending. You're like, when is this going to come to an end? Just feeling like you've just really been going through that dark night of the soul for months and months and months. It ends. It does. It gets better. Somebody is also uh, possibly visiting a grave and saying some prayers over somebody's headstone. Or you might be someone who just, like, it doesn't have to be a loved one. You just want to do something you just feel like that's just a nice thing to do is visit graves or unmarked graves and you just go and leave flowers or gifts and say prayers for the dead somebody might be into the album the grateful dead i don't know somebody might be going through a goth phase or maybe you were if you were a 90s kid 80s 90s kids you you going through some sort of um what do you call that phase? I just said it. That's because grunge came into my mind. But I mean, it could be something like that. Or your child could be going. If you have children, your child could be going through uh, that goth, goth phase. Yeah. There has been some sort of conflicts going on. Um, some sort of fighting and bickering. I feel like there's a need to bury the ego and 
kind of start fresh or start new, uh, have a new way of thinking. Also, for some of you, it could have been a fight that ended a relationship or ended a job or some sort of conflict at the job. Either way, I feel like if that was the case, you're being offered something new. I feel like you're going to overcome whatever this is. This, this death, it needed to happen. You're going to get a chance to rebuild. Yeah, and you also could have been dealing with the Scorpio, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Libra, um, maybe a Gemini or someone with Venus and Scorpio, and maybe a Pisces. Some of you, too, could have been ghosted. <laughs> And you're like wondering what happened, you know, why did they disappear? Or you could have been the one that ghosted somebody. Somebody wanted to go find themselves. They were confused. I also see the possibility of confusion in regards to sexuality. Not for everybody, but I am kind of getting that. I see a lot of daydreaming going on. There may be some secrets going on between you and another person that's getting ready to come out. Yeah, it's getting ready to come out. So be prepared for be prepared because if you if you're holding a secret from somebody, it's getting ready to come out. So be prepared for that. You're giving light. Things have been quiet right now. It's always quiet before the storm. So if you have a secret, if you've been keeping a secret, something is about to get out. If someone has been keeping uh, withholding a secret from you, it's about to come out. So just be prepared. It could be anything. It could be somebody's pregnant. It could be, I love your dad. It, it could be, you're really my auntie. It could be anything. So be prepared. So Because some secret is getting ready to come. It's getting ready. The, the clock is ticking here. Somebody's been going back and forth too on, if it's, if it's, if it's someone's own confession, they've been going back and forth on how they want to express this or let you know this. Hmm. I mean, hopefully it's just something like I love you. <laughs> I want to marry you. <laughs> um, but be prepared for anything. Someone misses you too. I don't know if you've been ignoring somebody, um, but someone definitely could be grieving or uh, missing you. All right, so that is all that I'm getting for deck number two. Let's go on to deck number three. Six of Wands. Dang, Five of Cups. Want to come out and did they come out in all the readings? The World. High Priestess. See those secrets still coming out. The Hermit. The Star. Ten of Wands. And the Lovers. Okay, so. Someone has been avoiding communicating with you. Um, I see someone who feels a very intense, strong connection with you or you them. It's mutual. I see it as mutual, honestly. But maybe 
neither one of you has been talking about it or maybe you want to maybe you want to share how you feel you're like man I just want to say I love you I love you I love you I love you um but maybe they aren't ready um maybe that's a lot I do feel like again this is a similar message I don't know if you guys are watching all of them but this was a similar message um that I just got in was it both of them with the Ten of Wands, somebody is holding on to something that they just can no longer bear. And so someone is pouring their heart out there, whether it is through the Internet, a personal private message. Um, someone is just being really open and sharing something with you or you could be doing this. Um, you know, there is some situation in regards to love where maybe a, a choice had to be made between you and your twin flame, you and a soulmate, you and you and you, somebody. <laughs> somebody had to make some sort of decision. Uh, I'm getting to a very strong spiritual connection. I don't know who this connection is to. You'll know it when you're, when you're with them. Um, I also feel like maybe a connection was so strong that someone has purposely set up some sort of barrier. Almost like, say for instance, you're psychic and they're an empath or they're a medium, you're um, psychic or intuitive, whatever the case. You guys both have like these strong gifts. Sounds like twin flames. But both of you have these strong gifts. But it's just not limited to twin flames, you know. Two different, so two soulmates can have, you know, telepathic gifts. But, um, yeah, the both of you have these strong gifts. And it's almost like you know it, they know it. Somebody is like, this person is invading my space, like, every time I go to sleep. Um, so I don't know what this person is doing. I don't know if it's some sort of prayers and meditations or if they're consciously saying as they drift off to sleep do not enter my my mind do not enter my space i don't know i feel like someone is in um, like trying to put up some sort of barrier it even makes me it's funny because i keep getting that scene in um what's that m night Shyamalan movie um where the the cornfields in Joaquin Phoenix. Oh, he used to be so fine. Joaquin Phoenix and um there were the kids, they're wearing like the little foil cones over their heads. Um so because they said the aliens can read their thoughts. I almost feel like someone is purposely trying to scramble the connection because it's like you're either tired of dreaming about them or, you know, it's just weird. So I just feel like maybe someone is uh, purposely trying to scramble that uh, connection that they're having to the other person. Uh, I also feel that there could be, I'm definitely getting distant love, um, a long distance relationship, a long distance love, and someone is missing you and wanting to be close. Now, I do see the possibility of a visitation um, me saying it like that made me feel like some of you might have experience with visitation from aliens. Yeah, aliens. Um, or otherworldly things or, you know, I don't know. I'm getting like real <laughs> metaphysical feelings tonight. But, um, yeah, some of you feel like maybe you're being visited by aliens or being watched um, or being visited by other beings. Um, but others of you, this is just a regular old visit. Somebody hopping in their car to come see you or getting in a plane. Um, some form of travel, any form of travel. And they come and visit you and then, you know, maybe it's a temporary stay because now it's like sad that they have to go. I didn't want to see you leave, but I have to go back, you know, so something in, in regards to that. Um, I also feel like some of you have maybe been trying to do like a lot of spiritual, spiritual work, whether it's spiritual cleansing, um, or sharing your gifts with people or doing something like 
you know, feeding a homeless or uh, doing acts of charity. So I'm seeing overall like uh, being selfless. Uh, now, also, some of you could be involved with an Aquarius, Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio, Leo. Um, those are the signs that jumped out, but it could be any sign. Uh, and I see, too, that someone does have you, like, you're being enlightened by some connection. You're being inspired to study and research, and you want to share this information with this person, or you're excited about discovering things about yourself. Like, you're being enlightened or illuminated by some sort of spiritual connection, or you might be trying to figure out what it is. So now, maybe you never looked at astrology, now you're all into it. Like, I need to find out their moon sign. I need to find out their exact birth time so I can they're rising so, so somebody might be really busy um trying to gather as much information as possible um and secretly going to psychics and readers and you know doing all sorts of um consultations with astrologers somebody is really trying to get to the root of what this connection is um and I mean, this is good. This is good because you're in, in turn, you're learning about yourself. You're enlightening yourself, which is the main purpose here. We need to remember why we came here so that we don't keep having to come back, you know, making that mistake over and over again. We're trying to escape, you know, that the karma of having to return and repeat. So, you know, the more you know, the more you can, you know, the more knowledge you can have to escape from coming back here. Uh, I've read too and, and watched videos about how there are other dimensions aside from this dimension. It might not necessarily be the highest, but it's, it's out of here. It's better, you know, so. Um, and then too, there are certain placements in your birth chart. Those of you that study astrology or that are just now getting into astrology, maybe didn't know that. Like if you have the, the south node in, in your 12th house, that usually represents moksha um, or liberation from here. Um, even if you have like, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh one of the good planets, um, benefics, like uh, the moon or, um, Jupiter in a 12th house, like those type of planets can also be a sign or indication, um, that you will escape, that you don't have to return back in this 3D earth realm anymore. Um, so yeah, some of you might be doing like a lot of research about hidden occult knowledge and just, you know, really absorbing everything and gobbling it up. Um, now I do see for some of you the possibility of having to relocate. Uh, it looks like, again, like packing up and leaving, having to start over, start fresh, uh, reinvent yourself. Uh, it could be reinventing yourself or, you know, just starting over, getting over a relationship, something to end it, finally letting someone go, making peace with that, um, and finally moving on. Uh, or it can be like literally having to relocate, um, or someone that you know is needing to relocate, um, because they lost everything or something. They lost all their belongings and they're sad and you have a place to stay. You're like, well, I have a home. You can come, you know, you can stay with me for a while. Um, so you might be offering, you know, your services to people. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and get some more information here. I wanna be nosy and see the lovers. See if we can find out who this choice is between. One might be older, one might be younger. Could be two earth signs, or maybe they both just act like earth signs. 
Um, for confirmation, I'm getting a Robert from somebody. Uh, for another person, I'm getting a, um, I don't want to, it, it starts with a B. I don't know if it's Brian. Uh, I don't know why I'm thinking about Bradley Cooper, um, but whatever the case, maybe that'll make sense for you. Maybe their last name is Cooper. Um, but yeah, I'm getting two different people here that you might have to decide between one is clearly older, one is younger. You could be trying to decide, uh, you're feeling drawn to them. Um, maybe you're trying to do research to see which one would be a better fit for you. Um, or maybe you've been asking readers like, hey, who am I most likely going to end up with, this person or that person? A little fire got in there, so it could be a fire sign. Wow. Two fire, two earth. And a Virgo in between. <laughs> There's air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I'm also seeing someone finally giving, getting the courage to approach you. Or you could be getting the courage to approach them. But I almost feel like... Like if you've been waiting to hear from someone, I almost feel like they have bad news. Uh, hopefully it's not too bad. I mean, maybe it's like what I said. Like someone is like, you'll never guess. I lost my place. You know, and it's like, oh, that's too bad. Good news, bad news. Come stay with me. So I don't know. It could be. Um, or it could be, you know, someone um, is sharing with you something. You know, they lost something or someone. They lost their job. And you're encouraging them and, and inspiring them and saying motivating things. Or someone might be doing that to you. So I, I'm definitely getting someone being uh, motivated and inspired. Um, let me also look at this Five of Cups here. Pay attention to your dreams because I am seeing dreams in here. Um, if you um, keep a dream journal, make sure that you're writing them down and referring to them. Um, I'm also seeing the High Priestess is always a reminder to listen to your intuition and trust your intuition. Go within. Both of these are saying go within, go within, go within. The answer is within. You already know the answer to a question. Even if you're doubting something, like you're like, I don't really believe this is going to happen or I don't really believe uh, that job is for me. I don't know. It's like, do you really believe that or are you just kind of like losing hope? Because here, something is happening to restore your your hope. After, you know, maybe you, you lost your faith, you have been holding on to some sort of belief for so long. You really believe something. And you're like, you know what, I can't hold on any longer. You know, I guess it is what it is. And then all of a sudden, the star is just like, hey, sign, message. Or the person actually does something or says something or gives you some sort of confirmation um, that something is real, something is attainable. Um, so yeah, I feel like your faith is getting restored and you're going to overcome some sort of sad mood or phase that you've been in, like you've been in a funk. It'll pass. Now, for some of you too, I see the High Priestess as patience, so... Um, if nothing is happening yet... Uh, give it to spring. But in the meantime, I know someone said something to me today and made me feel like I was telling them that they should wait. I don't like telling people to wait. I don't want people to get that impression. So I don't never mean just sit and twiddle your freaking thumbs for somebody. I just mean think positive and let it go. Go do something. Focus on something else. Uh, the best way possible. I don't know what that could be, but it's like try to focus on something else. Sign up for a new hobby if you have to. All right. I'm sorry. I've been shuffling and shuffling. Um, okay. I'm getting earth, water, fire. 
uh, someone is maybe like either you miss somebody or they're missing you. But also I feel like somebody has been trying to hold back about how they've been feeling. They want to appear to be strong uh, or like they are resilient and don't have any feelings. But this person hurts inside too. Now also, especially if you're already in a relationship, um, there's a need, your partner probably needs you right now. Um, you need to be their rock. You need to encourage them and let them know that they can get through whatever is going on. Don't discourage them if they lost their job. Be very, try to be supportive. Their ego is already bruised. Um, help them, remind them that they are everything to you regardless, you know, and help them, help them get back on their feet, you know, some type of way. Um, if, if they've been wanting to start their own business, try to support that. Um, try to see how you can, you know, if you have time, you know, I know you might have a career too. Um, I'm such a 50s girlfriend, but yeah, I mean, try to figure out ways to help and support uh, your partner if they're feeling down about something because they might really need you to get through something. Yeah, there's a, a, a big phase or cycle coming to an end. If someone has been going through depression, they're, you know, it'll end. It's, it's coming to an end. Because if it's you, you're getting ready to understand some things about yourself and the journey and the path that you've been on um, that's going to help you kind of snap out of it. Um, and then, well, it seem, it's going to seem like you're snapping out of it. If, if you've been going through the dark night of the soul, it's like finally getting to that finish line. Like, you mean I'm, I'm out of it? Oh, my God. Thank you, God. You know, that was horrible. It seems like it, it's overnight. Once you're out of it, it's going to say like you, it's, you're going to be able to look back at it and you're going to be like, when did I get out of this funk? I'm glad I'm out of it, though. So for some of you, I feel like you're coming out of that dark night of the soul. Um, because you know, you, your life has changed or shifted some type of way. Those spiritual shifts are not easy. Neither are, you know, mundane shifts, losing a job, relocating, finding a new home, you know, all of that stuff. That's, that's difficult too. But I, I, you know, I always kind of pick up on spiritual things. Um, but yeah, I feel like whether it's you or another person that is going to come to an end here. Um, yeah, so I feel like that is basically it. Oh, I was going to be nosy and look at the high priestess if you guys want me to. There are things happening that you're unaware of. I'll say that. Okay, so I, you're you're being things are being revealed to you in your dreams. This is for the dreamers out there. You guys are dream having some sort of lucid dreams. Um, you're receiving, you're downloading information, you're downloading um, in, memories about your past. You're remembering. Um, there are a lot of significant things happening when you when you lay down and rest. You're learning things about yourself and your path and your journey, and also. Uh, if you if you keep saying I could feel it in my bones, like somebody on their way into your life, um, I I still feel like you're right. You know, it, it feels like maybe you've been waiting for a long time, um, but I I just feel like someone is getting ready to enter your life, and this person is going to be very spiritual. And two, I feel like you've been dreaming about someone in particular because they've been thinking about you over and over again. You've been running through their mind. I'm seeing a repeating, a repetitive dream for somebody. Um, or like one of those dreams, and I'm seeing a premonition. And I'm also seeing one of those dreams where like you wake up 
and you're like, oh, that was crazy. And you go back to sleep and immediately pick it back up. I'm seeing like something like that happening too. So there's something significant about your dreams for the next uh, few days that you should just really pay close attention to. And I just saw something in regards to your spiritual contract. All right, so that is all that I have for deck number three. I hope that helped or resonated. Um, feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and many blessings to you.